Madrid. The amazing capital of Spain has a lot to offer the visitor, perhaps even more than your time allows. That's why in this series of episodes you will be able to know all the details about what to see in Madrid in one day on a tour that can be done on foot from start to finish. Depending on you and how much time you are going to dedicate to each activity, you can do the sightseeing tour at your own pace. If you are also one of these persons who need to see in advance what you are going to visit, where you can eat and what tours to take to make the most of your time, then stick around till the end of the video and you will know exactly what to see in Madrid in one day. We begin this fantastic walk through the heart of Madrid. Before seeing one of the most beautiful squares in Madrid, it is important to highlight that Madrid is a very safe cosmopolitan city and its public transport network is a pioneer in Europe. To get to the Plaza de España, the beginning of our tourist route, you can use both the metro and the bus, or if you come in spring, the best time of the year to enjoy Madrid, you can do it by electric bicycle, a rental service that is also offered by the Madrid City Council. Once in Plaza de España, we must look up to the skies to enjoy the tall buildings that frame the well-defined Plaza de España. It starts with the well-known Rio building, 117 meters high, which houses one of the most modern and select four-star hotels in Madrid. Of course, one of the best known and most visited part of this building is its terrace, with glass walkways completely suspended in the air. And as the famous motto indicates that all Madrid residents are proud of, from Madrid to the sky, we continue looking up because there are two other rooftops that we can enjoy in this area, both for their rich cuisine and spectacular cocktails as well as for their panoramic views. They are Nice to Meet You and Ginkgo Sky Bar, which are located in the same square. Don't worry about the names, I'll leave them down below in the description. We continue walking through the square without going to the famous Gran Via, which we will leave for a later episode, and find a spectacular monument to Miguel de Cervantes with two of the main characters of the novel Don Quixote de la Mancha, Don Quixote and his companion Sancho Panza. Enjoying the pedestrian paths, we will arrive at the most stately points of Madrid, where the Madrid of the Austrias begins. We arrive at the Plaza de Oriente, where we can enjoy the Campo del Moro Gardens and the majestic Royal Palace. The Royal Palace of Madrid is the largest in Western Europe and one of the largest in the world. You cannot leave Madrid without visiting it. More than two million visitors do so every year to discover its corners, its treasures and its works of art. If your stay in Madrid is during the week, from Monday to Friday, from 5 to 7 in the afternoon, the access is free. And if you're a history lover, you cannot miss the relay of the Royal Guard that takes place every Wednesday and Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Or the solemn relay of the Royal Guard that takes place the first Wednesday of each month at 12 noon. Next to the Royal Palace, there is the Cathedral of Almudena. It is an imposing building, 102 meters long and 73 meters high, built from the end of the 19th century to the end of the 20th century, in different architectural styles, neoclassical on the outside, neo-gothic on the inside and neo-romanesque in the crypt. It is a place of worship for Catholics, in addition to having an important tourist attraction. It should be noted that from the cathedral's point of view we can see one of the best sunsets in Madrid. It is spectacular that from the center of Madrid you can see such beautiful wonder of nature. Returning to the Plaza de Oriente we must contemplate the Teatro Real building which has become the National Opera House of Reference in Spain. The prestigious International Opera Award has named it the best international opera house in 2021. From the Plaza de Isabel II, popularly known as the Plaza de Opera, we head towards the Plaza Mayor and the Puerta del Sol. 
to do so, we will enjoy the good atmosphere that exists on the streets of Madrid, specifically along the Arenal Street, where we can find the emblematic places to take a break and have a snack, such as the famous Chocolateria San Ginés, where the most famous churros with chocolate in all of Spain are eaten, or the La Mallorquina Pastry Shop, which was founded in 1894, and today still remains one of the best rated in the entire city. On the same street, we also find one of the best concert and party venues in Madrid, Teatro Eslava. The Plaza Mayor of Madrid is a portico square with different arches on each of its four facades, and it is located within the old town of the city. It is considered by many to be the heart of one of the most charming neighborhoods in Madrid, and of which we have already seen the most important tours in this video, the Madrid of the Austrias. Both within the Plaza Mayor and its surroundings, we have a wide gastronomic offer. One of the most notable is the San Miguel Market, a few meters from the main square. It is considered in itself a monument of Spanish and international cuisine. Continuing our journey, we arrive at the Puerta del Sol. It is a square full of symbols and important meanings for all Spaniards. It is known nationally and internationally for being the center of attention every December 31st at midnight, with the famous New Year's Eve bells that mark the traditional eating of the 12 lucky grapes. In front of the building that is currently the headquarters of the government of the community of Madrid lies the Kilometer Zero, that is, the starting point of all the radial roads in Spain. This square also has a popular meeting point among Madrid residents, specifically next to the statue of the bear and the strawberry tree, a symbol of the city of Madrid. Of course, we cannot forget the famous Tio Pepe advertisement, which is another icon of the Puerta del Sol and of Madrid since always. As we see, this square is one of the most important points, both locally and touristically, in the city. Given the demand, there are infinite possibilities and a lot of gastronomic offers. Behind the Puerta del Sol, starting in Cadiz Street, following it along Barcelona Street, Espoz and Mina Street and all its surroundings, we can have a drink, tapas, lunch or dinner. As gourmet recommendations, we find Rossi la Loca or En Busca del Tiempo, while if we want the typical and traditional Spanish taverns, we find El Museo del Jamón and the La Ria Muzzle restaurant, among many other options. And with our dinner, our day of visiting Madrid concludes. Be sure to stay alert for our next episode to find other tours of Madrid in one day. My name is Alex Moraras. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share and definitely subscribe to find out more amazing places to visit before you come to Spain.